Once upon a time, not so long ago, a young man born in 18th century Scotland began work on a device that would allow the transmission of the human voice over wires. For many years, this man labored over this device, and finally, on the, 8th, on the 10th of March, 1876, he achieved success, producing something that would revolutionize the human world, the first phone call. This young man was none other than Alexander Graham Bell. Science is a megascale superpower that has changed our world, and in recent years, science has made copious amounts of advancements, <clears throat> such as uh, supercharged photosynthesis and megascale desalination. And with so many substances being modified, the question arises, why not better human beings? Now, human beings are far from perfect, and science has been working on improving them for a long time. As of late, the level of progress has been greatly escalated. As of 2014, scientists at the University of Texas have been successfully able to generate body cells into neurons, bridging the gap in the human nervous system's poor regenerative abilities. Soon, it may also become possible to genetically transfer brain cells to enhance brain function, which essentially means that anyone and everyone could be genetically modified to become smarter. Now, speaking from personal experience, I was an honor roll student up until the seventh, maybe the eighth grade. After that, let's just say that the honor roll and I became a lot less accustomed. So such an advancement sounds kind of amazing. Now, for those of you who are superhero fans, in particular fans of Marvel, you've probably watched an X-Men movie, watched Jean Grey controlling objects with her mind, and thought, hey, I wish I could do that. What if I were to tell you that you can? At the Minnesota College of Science and Engineering, it is now a reality. Using a non-invasive technique known as electroencephalography that harnesses brain waves, five students were able to control the motion of a helicopter using their mind. Another amazing advancement that science has made recently has been brain-to-brain -brain communication. Linking minds, it seems, is very real. This project is known as BBI, or brain-to-brain -brain interface, and studies have been carried out with animal-to-animal, human-to-human, and even human-to-animal interfaces. So the brain can both send and receive signals, so electrical impulses are generated, which in turn produce a magnetic field that awakens the pathways in the brain. So this could be revolutionary, and more importantly, I could finally understand what my cat's been trying to say to me all this time. Now, another amazing discovery that science has given us is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is something that is present and an avid participant in our daily lives. Think Siri, iRobot, or Cleverbot. There's robots that do your vacuuming for you, and cars that'll soon be able to self-drive. Ever wonder how your Netflix account generates recommendations for you or Spotify tells you what songs to listen to next? It's all the magic of artificial intelligence. Now, so far, it sounds like all of these advancements are fruitful and prolific, right? Not quite. There are two sides to a coin, and with all of the positives of scientific evolution come a whole lot of negatives. Advancements in neuroscience have changed our understanding of the brain and opened so many doors to treatments for previously intractable disorders. But they also pose tough ethical questions as to whether it is possible or even permissible to read minds, alter memories, and enhance cognition. Diversity is one of the most important aspects of our world, and with different backgrounds come different morals and beliefs. Is it acceptable to alter a human being and supposedly improve them if it goes against their beliefs? Another issue that arises with experiments to transfer brain data is the intrusion of privacy. One such example is that of the USCINAX conference 2012, where scientists used simple off-the-shelf devices to carry out demonstrations that would transfer brain data. However, Participants in this experiment were not explicitly told that their brains would essentially be hacked in the process. Another issue that arises with these advancements is the loss of individuality, of uniqueness, the sole basis that makes us who we are. What is so extraordinary about intelligence if everyone has it? 
There is also the issue that these advancements may be used for the wrong reasons. And there are many examples of this present in history, ranging from the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki to the use of advanced military weapons in wars. One cannot forget one of the main apprehensions that arise with artificial intelligence. What if these machines that we are building overpower us? I mean, essentially, humans should continue to be the masters of machines, right? However, if it were the other way around, the world would turn into utter chaos. These machines may prove to be smarter than us. They might enslave us and essentially take over the world. In fact, scientists such as Stephen Hawking, Elon Musk, and other top technology leaders have signed a letter of warning against the dangers of artificial intelligence. Now, speaking from a personal point of view, why can't we just multiply the positives and deplete the negatives of scientific evolution? Science has already given us so many amazing things like electricity and the programming of stem cells, and we can continue to benefit from it if we only allow our creations to produce favorable results. Think Terminator, but without the whole annihilation of humanity bit. If there is one thing that we have learned from the second half of this century, it is that science has an unmistakable influence on our future. We, it has upscaled our choices and increased our risks. And we have no reason to believe that science will abate its influence upon our future outcomes, and so many to continue to believe that it will influence our choices. So the question stands. Is science a friend, or will it eventually lead to the destruction of humanity as we know it? Thank you.